Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for checking this video out. Now, you want to know how to solve quadratic equations? You want to know how to factor quadratic equations and all that stuff? This is the video for you. Now, if you're taking a test or doing something with multiple choice, this is how you're going to pass it. This isn't cheating. It's just a way to use the equivalence property to get this stuff done. All right, but if it's not multiple choice, then you're going to watch the other video on how to solve it by hand without multiple choice. But this is how you do it when there are multiple choices. Let's go. First question says, which, wait, whoa, before we do anything, you gotta make sure your mind is right, make sure you're having a great day, your eyes are open, your heart is open, your ears are open so you can receive this information. Otherwise, you gotta watch this video like 10 times, right? We can get our student creed in on three. Ready? One, two, three. Today is a new day. I can read well. I can understand what I read. I can remember it and apply it correctly. I've got eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand. It might not be easy, but it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, now you're ready to go. All right. First one says, what equation is, sorry, first one says, what expression is equivalent to 6x squared plus 13, blah, 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 blah. Anytime you see the word equivalent, you can use this. Anytime you see the word equivalent, you can use it like this. Now, here's what I want you to know. This is what the basics I want you to know. See how this guy has an x squared plus 13x plus 5? This stuff, this equation, this expression can be rewritten just like this with two little parentheses. Two little guys in two groups of parentheses. So here's the big mama right here. You can break it down into these pieces. Here's the final puzzle. This puzzle can be broken up into these two pieces. So I'm going to type in the full guy and see which piece looks just like him. So here I go. It's going to be 6x squared plus 13x plus 5. Okay, there's the picture. Now one of these choices is going to match the picture exactly. Parentheses 2x plus 5. All you got to do is just type it in. I'm not doing any thinking. I'm not busting my brain. All right, I typed in the first one. Is this matching exactly? No. You know how I know? Because there's two different pictures here. It should look like it's the exact same one. So, no, this is not it. Let's type in the second one. It says 2x minus 5, 3x plus 1. How does it? Nope, that's not, the, that's not it. That's wrong. All right, choice C says 2x plus 1, and then 3x plus 5. Oh, oh, I think we got our winner right here. Check him out. See how it doesn't even move when I click this? That's the guy. That's the one. I'm just going to check choice D just to make sure, make sure nothing funny is going on here. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. These are off, too. So the answer is choice C. That's it. Easy peasy, and you're done. Next one says M squared. But, uh, uh, what do you do now when there's M's? All right, and any letter. I don't care if it's H, K, Z, whatever, T. Change it to X. So I'm going to go X squared, because if you don't change it to X, then it's not going to produce a graph. 13X minus 30. There he is. Type the next guy, M minus 15. Close it. Open up the new guy. X. Oh, I put an M in and it's getting... Okay, okay, I did that for you. Let me go change that. It's not supposed to be an M. It's supposed to be an X. There's my picture. All right, blah, blah, blah. Minus 15, minus 2. I can't see the photo. I don't know. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let's go see where we're at. Okay. Oh, 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 this might be it. This might be... Yep, this is it. He's matching right there. And he hits on the other point too. Yep. Choice A. That's it. So if they don't give you an X, change it. Sorry, if they give you a different letter besides X... Change it to an X, that way you can get a graph, and it'll produce a graph so you can match the graph. But other than that, we're just matching the pictures the same way that we do it like before. All right, next one. K, wow, ugly, disgusting stuff. Oh, all these different words. Doesn't matter. Ignore all the crap and just get to what matters. I know about this equation, so I can type that in. Don't worry about the other stuff. Just type in what you know how to do, what you've known, what you've been taught how to do. There we go. I, I'm ignoring the K of X. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Well, then, but what do I do for you? Just type it in, bro. Same thing. It's a negative, blah, blah, X. Plus, but you're not typing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There, I typed it in. Is it matching? No, that's off. Let me type in choice B. Uh, X plus 5. Uh, X minus 3. Where are we at? Oh, it looks really good. I think it's going to be choice B. Let me check choice C just to make sure. Just to make sure nothing crazy is going on here. Nope, C is off. Let me type in choice D, 3 in front, sorry, sorry, negative 5 and a negative 3. That's a 5, that's a 3. No, he's off too. My answer here was choice B. That's it. Oh, crud, what if they give you a picture like this? What do I got to do? All right, whenever they give you pictures, here's what you got to do. Read the question. What expression represents the area? You're either going to be looking for an area or you're going to be looking for a length. So here I am looking for an area. So it's going to be the one of the lengths times the width will equal the area. Now, if, the, if you are looking for a length, you're going to have to divide 
But here I am being asked for an area, so I'll do it after this. I'll find the, the length after this. But here we go. This is how you do the area questions. You are looking for area. Looking for area means we are going to multiply. So I take this guy up here. I write him in a bracket because I'm put this team right here times, and I bracket the other team. So I got team one wrapped in parentheses, and I write the team two in parentheses also. Now I got to find which one is the area. So I type in the choices. Blah, 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 plus 36x minus 16. Nope, he's off. This doesn't look right. Type in choice B, 20 minus 4, minus 4x minus C. Oh, choice B looks really good. I like choice B. Let me type in choice C just to make sure nothing crazy is happening here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, freak. This looks really good, too. Dang. Oh, he's barely off. He's barely off. See? See, I can see a difference down here. That's how you know it's not him. Thank God. But when it was zoomed out, it looked like it could have been. But make sure you zoom in, in in case you have to check. That's why we did this. Next one, 9x squared minus 16. Now nah, he's definitely off. So my answer here is choice B. So I picked choice B. Now, let's do the exact same question. Let's pretend that they gave us the area. Let's say that they said that the area of this figure is 20x squared minus... 4x minus 16. Then they gave us one of the legs. Let's say they gave us this one right here, the 5x minus 4. They will give you area, and then they will give you one of the legs, and then try to, you try to figure out the other leg. Here's how you do it. You type in the area first, and I'm going to put them in parentheses, just like this. There's the area. Then I'm going to divide him by the other thing that they give me. And in this case, I'm pretending that they're going to give me 5x plus 4. So I'm going to go 5x plus 4. And then now I have to type in the choices. But all of your choices will look different, by the way. And then when I type in the choice that says this, oh, this matches. This is the one. All right, it's the same thing. I'm going to change this number in the front. Oh, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's also not it. So then you type in the choice that finally looks like it. Oh, remember, it's, it'll still line up. So the moral of the story is whenever they give you these problems with pictures and, they're, and they ask you for area, you have to write group one times group two and then put the choices in here to figure out what the answer is. If they give you area and you're looking for the other part, you'll type in the big one first, then divide it by the other piece that they're going to give you and see which choice matches it. All right, just the way I did it right here. All right, this one, what expression is equivalent to all you got to do? Type it in, type it in right here. Oops, oops, type, yep. Plus 35x. Type in the choices, 7x, parentheses, 4x plus 5. Nope, it doesn't look like it. It's, no, nope, not looking the same. Let's see, now it's going to be a negative 7x. I'm typing in choice B. Ooh, he looks really good. He looks really good. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, he looks really good. I'm going to, I think the answer is choice B. But let me type in the other choices just to make sure nothing crazy is happening here. 4x minus 5. No, that's not it. No, I can clearly see two pictures. Change it to a negative 7. Change this to a plus 5. Nope, that's not it. So my answer here was choice B. That's it. Easy peasy. Same stuff. All right, next case. They might ask you what a factor is. A factor of this stuff. So here's what you're going to do. Check this out. Plus 13. Type in the question the same normal way that you would normally do. There he is. Now I type in this other guy. I don't care if you put parentheses or not. It doesn't matter. It won't change anything here. Boom, boom, boom. 7x plus 4 and 3x plus 5. Now let me tell you what we're looking for. Let me. I'm going to clear these guys out. The most important parts of these quadratic equations, these, these U-shaped curves, is where they cross the x-axis. So right here and right here, those are the most important parts of the graph. If we're not matching it and it's not matching exactly, we are looking at those two parts. That is so important. So remember, if we are not matching the graph and trying to find out which one matches it, because like here, watch this. When I type in all these choices, I go, well, he doesn't match, he doesn't match, he doesn't match. And he doesn't match. None of them match. Nothing's happening here. Well, if you can't match it, then you have to look at those important parts and see which one of these guys gets hit by one of these lines. Here you go. Here's the guy one. Is he going through any of these important parts, right? these important points right here? No, he's not. He's way too low. So it's not him. This guy's not special. Choice B. Oh, oh, he's hitting right here, right where he's hitting. I like choice B. He's really good. Choice C. No, what the heck? He's not touching anything important. Choice, no, this guy's missing it. He's too high. So my answer here is choice B. Why? Because none of these guys matched, but choice B actually hit one of these answers right here. 
So it doesn't matter. It could have hit this one or this one. But since this guy is the only one that hits one of them, that's the answer. That's how you find this. Last one. Here we go. Find a factor of this guy. Here we go. 9. Change the R to an X. That way it can graph. Otherwise, the computer doesn't understand it. Oops. 4X plus 1. Type in the first choice. 3X minus 1. X minus 1. 9X minus 1. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He doesn't match. He doesn't match. And he doesn't match. So these guys don't match. Well, remember what I said last time about seeing which one crosses the axis? Well, this guy doesn't cross the axis. He's not touching. So none of these guys are going to hit any of those important parts that we were talking about. So since none of these guys hit any of the parts on the x-axis that this guy hits, because this guy doesn't touch the x-axis, then J, there are no real factors. There, are, there is no answer. There, there's no factors here. That's how you do it. All right, that's it for quadratics. That's how you factor them. That's how you do all that stuff. Check the video out. Make sure you study so you can show yourself approved. This is how you will pass all of your tests. This is the minimum skills that you need to pass your tests. If you want to be awesome and know how to do it without a thing, that's very good. I encourage you learning how to do this without multiple choices. But if you can't, if you're just trying to get a 70 or better, do this. Know how to do it like this at least, and you won't fail your class. Your teacher will not fail you, all right? All right, thank you so much. Studies so you can show yourself approved. You wanna make sure you can help your friends out, help your neighbors out, help yourself out, help your teachers out. You wanna be able to walk into a classroom and make kids and say, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Your nieces, your nephews, your little, little brothers and sisters, oh, thank you so much for being here. I need help, I need help, can you help me? And you show them the answer. You give them the way, you show them how to do the stuff. That way they can no longer feel like they're drowning in their math class, all right? We, and you can save somebody's day, because we need more heroes. All right, y'all be safe, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.